This week in the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator, it is the battle of the GA aircraft. So we've got you covered on that one and all of this week's latest releases and announcements. Let's jump straight into the video. Welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator update video. This is where we bring you each and every week all the important news and updates on the development of this new flight sim. So please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know when all the important cool flight sim stuff is released. Before we get in the video, here's a quick word from our partners. Apex Gaming PCs and the Oz Flight Simulator channel have partnered up to create a range of gaming flight simulator PCs tailored to flight simulation uh, pilots in mind. The private pilot and the commercial pilot range has been designed to provide a great frame rates if you are on a budget or if you're an experienced simmer and want to take it your simming to the next level. You can even customize to suit uh, your virtual pilot needs. Links in the description below if you want to check out the new range of Oz Flight Simulator PCs, the private pilot and the commercial pilot. Moving on to uh, this week's announcement and the first one goes to the team at Parallel 42 and they have announced their new product for Microsoft Flight Simulator and this time it is a aircraft. In collaboration with the YouTube aviation superstar Trent Palmer, the team is developing an all new aircraft which is Trent Palmer's Freedom Fox. The team uh, has the aircraft in the sim and it's already in early Early testing, you should say, and this week they showcase it in a quick video of the aircraft. No ETA on when the Freedom Fox will be released or priced, but knowing Parallel 42 that the launch of the Freedom Fox will be an event for sure. Impulse Simulations have announced they will be releasing Adelaide Airport for the sim on the 16th of July. Adelaide Airport is the fifth busiest airport in Australia, serving a wide range of aircraft from GA to wide body. Some of the highlights uh, featured that will be included in this release is 15,000 plus uh, hand placed objects, full PBR textures, custom animations, animated jetways, 50 plus custom assets, I think they should be buildings, 50 uh, centimeter custom auto imaging, uh, detail static aircraft, and realistic ground and apron textures compatible with the Orbex and landmark for Adelaide. Moving on to uh, this week's releases and the first one is an aircraft and it's from Aeroplane Heaven releasing the new aircraft of the Cessna 140. The Cessna 140 is one of the pioneers of GA aviation It first flew in 1945. In its day um, the 140 was known to be an easy flyer and have great cruising speed for an aircraft of its times. Features uh, will include a high fidelity authentic uh, detail of the aircraft, PBR textures and uh, detail animations including uh, brake disc ca uh, calipers, a steerable uh, table and that sprung main gear undercarriage you can see them moving around and all that sort of good stuff seven liveries and three versions of the aircraft is included you can pick up your copy of aeroplane heaven the Cessna 140 directly from the aeroplane store I'll leave a link in the description below the next release uh, for the week and it goes to the team at Burning Blue Designs have they released their new project which is uh, Popham Airfield. Hopefully I said that correctly. I'm sure my UK fans will definitely let me know in the comments below. Popham Airfield is located in uh, Winchester in the UK. It is known for being the home of the Spitfire Club. The airfield sees over 10,000 landings each year on average in catering for many GA aircraft and ultralight aircraft. Features include 110 custom 3D objects, thousands of hand placed, uh, placed objects, high resolution color is being corrected for the ground textures and working custom signal uh, square has been included. Dynamic smoke effects and many custom static aircraft and they've corrected the AI uh, procedures for accurate taxing and things like that. Um, there is uh, many more features and you can pick up your copy of Popham Airfield directly from Burning Blue Designs website. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below. And the next release for the week, and this is where the battle of the GA aircraft begins, and it is from Carinado, as they just have released recently today their Cessna 170B. The interesting thing, that this was done over at the Microsoft Flight Simulator YouTube channel, which we haven't seen that before. But the Cessna 170B from Carinado is known as the daddy of the Skyhawk in the skies, and it is famous for a tail dragger, and it was used as a freight hauler and a trainer and a bush plane. Some of the features included with the Carinado Cessna 170B is uh, optional for Tundra tires or regular tires. Portable Garmin GPS, so if you want to use autopilot. Uh, KX165 Navcom radio, KT76A transponder and PBR uh, textures included. As all Carinado aircraft from the exterior and the interior, it will look amazing. Digital sounds recorded directly from the aircraft, the aircraft itself. Uh, you can pick up your copy of the Cessna 170B from Carinado. The only place you can pick it up from is the 
the Microsoft Store directly in the marketplace of The Sim. Moving on to this week's development news, um, and with the Xbox release and the Performance Plus, uh, aka as the Sim Update 5, only 20 days away and not too much from the development team at this week has been announced, but you definitely feel that the Flight Sim buzz is in the air and Flight Simulations is really starting to ramp up. This week we were treated with an update of the development roadmap uh, which was delivered dating all the way through to the end of September. Some of the key dates to keep an eye out is uh, one is the Xbox launch and also the Sim Update 5 which is known as the Performance Plus update. Um, they'll be launching in July 27th, only 20 days away. The Husky A1C will be launching on the 3rd of August which we should see a trailer a couple of days afterwards. If, if you didn't know the Husky A1C is another aircraft done by the Sobo team. World Update 6, Germany, Austria and Switzerland will release on the 24th of August. So August is going to be a big month. Sim Update 5 is slated, or Sim Update 6 I should say, is slated for mid-September. No confirmed date has been given at this stage or what will be included in uh, the Sim Update 6 just yet. And again, with the development roadmap, we were updated with a feedback snapshot that has been released uh, for the community's most voted wish list and most wanted bugs to be squashed. On the top three of the wish list, we saw helicopters, which is planned for 2022, multi screen functionality, which is currently in development, and we expect to see in 2021 or maybe early 2022. Replay functionality has been started, and we're expecting to see that before the end of the year is out, which is 2021. And in my personal favorite, DX. 12 which didn't make the performance plus update but we and it has been started and we are expected to see it in um, before the year is out 2021 so if you want to see the rest of the wish list um, feel free to hit the pause button as I've included them all in this video and then hit the unpause button and please watch the end of the video 11 new airports, 2 aircraft, 4 new sceneries and no mission packs have been released in various flight sim stores around the world. We've seen 6 new products hit the marketplace store. Um, we've one thing which we mentioned before which is the uh, Cesta 170B from Carinado. You can pick that up now directly from the marketplace. The other 5 products are all airports. If you got through to the end part of the video, you guys are a bunch of legends and I thank you very much. Um, I would love to hear in the comments below if you're planning on picking up one of the Cessnas that were released this week, either the 140 or the 170B from Carinata. Let us know in the comments which one you may pick up. If you like this video as part of our pre-flight checks, please hit that like button. And if you enjoyed the content, why not subscribe and share it with your families and friends. That way, this way we can spread the word of flight simulation and aviation. We also stream on the Ozflight Simmer channel every Wednesday and Sunday at 8pm GT plus 10. Feel free to drop by if you want to to, you know, fly with all the multiplayer shenanigans, Xbox or PC. Uh, we're going to leave you with some of our other flight sim videos here. Feel free to check those out and we'll see you over there.